Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 19th of April 2024. Time for my Sudoku at bedtime game. Uh, I'm feeling pretty sleepy, I had to do some work this evening. My eyes are just about drooping, but hopefully I'll be able to stay awake long enough to play this Sudoku from the Los Angeles Times, their expert level puzzle. I'll get started in a minute. Uh, but I was thinking about something. Um, the last US election uh, in 2020 was actually very well run, very professionally run, and uh, there were almost no discrepancies. Of course, all of the nonsense put out by Trump and the Republicans, were the, the rubbish, the absolute bullshit that was put out by them was proved to be lies, absolute lies. There were no consequential uh, um, n n numbers counted that would make any difference in any election anywhere. Uh, so it was all rubbish, and they went to court 60 times, they lost 60 times, There's nothing was proved anywhere. It was all rubbish. Um, but if and when Trump loses this time, for sure he's not going to accept the result, right? I mean, if he's actually running, if he's not locked up in jail or something, we can only hope that he is. But if he's actually running, and... Um, there's no way he's going to accept it, and neither are the MAGA morons that support him. They just won't accept it anyway. Um, but making things worse are the fact that he's uh, now said that they are going to put in, I'm doing air quotes here, poll watchers. Poll watchers means people with guns to stand outside <laughs> polling stations and frighten people away. Uh, you know how are the how is the U.S. going to run its e in the next this election? I was just thinking about this. Last time, of course, it was very good. It was run very well in in a normal kind of way, uh, apart from the idiocy that happened after the count was made. But this time, with the conspiracy theorists and lunatics that are in the Republican Party right now. Uh, I'm not so sure that the that the election is actually going to be able to be held safely and fairly. I mean, I hope it is, but uh, you know those lunatics running around. Um, it, there's a chance that it might not be. So um, anyway, fingers crossed for U.S. democracy. I know it's a faint democracy; it's not a real democracy. But I mean, you know, as much of a democracy as they have, it's a silly system. I know that, but it's better than having no democracy whatsoever which is what will happen when Trump gets in. Okay, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? This is LA Times uh, expert level puzzle. We've got sevens blocking like this. That's going to put seven there. We've got to have ones blocking down here. This is what I noticed whilst chatting to you. I noticed a seven and a one in those squares. I haven't noticed anything else yet, though, but I haven't really been looking anywhere. I just saw that part of the grid. Uh, we've got eights. Go I like this little block here. Eights going across here. That will give us an eight there. And we will be left here with three, five, and nine. Threes are here. Five and nine. Not really sure about at the moment. <coughs> seven blocks up here and seven across there will give us seven in the middle. Uh, okay, I'm not spotting anything substantial. So let's go through and see what we can get like this. Certainly we can get a two here in this square. Uh, 
So three across here puts three into one of these two squares blocking back and three down there. There's a three. Three and six block up here to the top and three and six block up here. So that's a pair of three and six in those squares. Uh, can we get any more? Three, six. Um, oh, actually, I've seen something else. This is... Uh, 1, 2 and 9 in this column and we've got 1 and 2 in that same row so that's going to be a 9. Uh, now I was saying this is uh, 3, uh, did I say 3 and 6? Yes, 3 and 6. Is that right? Three and six? Yes, it is. So when we've got two blocking across here and two up there, or just two up there, in fact, is good enough. <laughs> That'll put the two there. And two blocking down here and down here and across there means that that's a two. Right, so this is 3 and 6. Let's see what we've got over here on this side. We're looking for 1, 8, 9. Uh, so, oh, we've got to fill in the 1 here. Where uh, right, I'll try this again. Six and three are in these squares. This is uh, one, seven, and eight, I think. So, <coughs> so one and eight block down here and one and eight block across there so that's a pair of one and eight so if this is one and eight these squares have to be five and nine and nine blocks there so there's our nine and this will be our five Uh, and I should be able to get this, shouldn't I? Because I know this is uh, one. I've forgotten it again. One, seven, and eight, right? And so this is four and nine. And this is the other number, which is five. I could have just said five blocking down there, of course. Five blocking across there, there's our five. Uh, missing numbers here are 3 and 9. Missing numbers over here are 1 and 7. We've got 7 blocking down. There's the 7 and there's the 1. Nine blocks this square, so here's our 9. This will be our 4. 4 blocks across there, that's our 4 nine blocks down here there's our nine and the last number to place here is a six uh, 
Uh, I think the missing numbers across here are two, four, five, six. Two, four, five, six. I think so. And we've got two, four, and six in the same column, so that's going to be a five. four blocks up here so four is in one of these two squares blocking up there and four across there there's our four the last number to place here um, is six Uh, I think the missing numbers here are 1368. 1368, that's four numbers. I don't see a 136 or 8. So 1, 6, and 8 all block this square. So that's going to be a 3. Three blocks down here. There's our 3. The last number here is a 9. Missing numbers here, two, four, five. We've got four and five together. That then is our two. Five blocks this square here, so that's our five, and this will be four. Four blocking up here and across and across. There's our four. Two across here and there. That gives me a two in that square. Six blocking across here gives me a six there. Uh, eight and nine in these squares, I think. There's one number to go over here, and uh, that's going to be a six. eight blocks this square we need an eight in this row it has to go there this is going to be a one that's a one up there four blocks this square here's our four three finishes the block uh, this looks to me to be one and eight I'm not sure which is which yet so this is Three seven nine. Any help on three seven or nine? No, seven and nine there and there. Okay. Right, but we've done a lot, haven't we? Yesterday's game was really easy, uh yesterday's expert level game. Today's been pretty fast to get to this situation to get to this uh st state here. Uh we haven't quite finished, but I think that we we've just about finished. I don't think there's any likely to be any logic puzzle at this point I think it's too far gone uh, what do we still need okay ones we still need threes and we have three blocking this square three blocking this square and three blocking this square so there's our three we still need six. Six blocks up here and across there. There's our six. And six across here and six up there gives us six in that square. And the last number here is, I was going to say two, but it's not a two. It's a three. And so three blocking across here and across there will give us a three in that square. Eight nine, eight nine, 
eight nine here, eight nine, eight nine. No help on that just yet. Uh, right, what's the missing numbers from here? One seven. Can't find it. One seven and eight. One seven there, no eight yet. Uh, okay, so we've got eight blocking this square. So in the top row, there's the eight. And this is going to have to be a seven, whether it wants to or not. And now there's only one digit missing from here, and that must be long to uh, nine. Okay, nine across here. There's our nine. Nine down here. There's our nine. This is eight. That's eight. Eight blocks across here. There's our eight. The missing number here is a one. One blocks across here. There's the one. Last number seven. That's it. Another very straightforward. Maybe not quite as easy as yesterday's, but a pretty straightforward game uh, from the LA Times. That uh, that's it. Weekend is almost upon us. Bye bye.